Hi guys. For whatever reason, this video just wants to fight me. Um, the lighting doesn't look right with my face, probably because uh, I got a little bit of sun this weekend. It was probably our first really, really nice whole weekend and I was outside the whole weekend because once summer hits, I don't like to be in the house unless I have to. So um, I guess I'll just get started. Uh, it's Janet from My Crazy Little Life. I'm going to do a video tonight on hog tumblers and the hog heat press. Some of the people on Facebook that were that I've spoken with have asked about the hog uh, heat press, the tumbler press. And so I had told them that I would do a review on it. Honestly, it's the best tumbler press I've used. I started off with one from Amazon. Like many of us start, you know, when you start off, you work with what you have. Um, hog at that time didn't have a tumbler press and now they do so as soon as they did I bought it right away and my one from Amazon just it just didn't go big enough it didn't do what I needed as much as I wanted it to this one's much more versatile and I've had a lot of people just ask about it so I said I would do a review on it I love her products the woman who runs the company's name is Irene the um, cups are made in China but they're shipped from Texas they're designed in Texas uh, the woman who runs the company is really, really nice, super supportive of any and all the tumbler makers um, that use her products. She's she's very interactive. Uh, you almost feel like she's a friend, even though you don't, I, I've never met her. I, I probably never will, but she seems like she would be a really great person, a lot of fun to hang out with. So anyway, I'm going to get started. Um, I will be talking primarily about the sublimation tumblers. But I'm, before I do that, I'm going to go into first a few of the ones that are, um, they're not sublimation. There's a couple of powder coated and a couple of uh, just the stainless steel. And I'll tell you why I chose the ones I do, because I have many more different ones, but I'm only going to review a few of them just because time. There's only so much time. This is one of the newer cups. It is a 20 ounce matte black with handle. This is probably not going to fit in your cup holder, not just because it's a little chubby, but because there's a handle and it, I mean, you might be able to fit it if you've got, like my car has the, there's like a space in between the two cup holders. So if you had it facing the back, but you're only gonna be able to have one cup in there. Um, this one's really nice. It has the, the spout to drink out of. It also, if you have it closed, you can, there is a, an air vent here. I personally would just leave it like this, put my straw in this part. If I'm drinking coffee, hot coffee, obviously I don't, um, I, well, I shouldn't say obviously, I don't drink my hot coffee through a straw, but I am from New England and in New England we drink iced coffee year round. So most of the time I'm using a straw. If I were using a straw, I would just put it in that front part there. The lids are just press on lids. They come right off. Most of the lids are like this. Um, there are some that screw on. These are far and away my favorite. I will probably end up making one of these. This will probably end up being my camping cup because it's just a good size. Um, I have little hands. I've said it before in my other videos. This is easy for me to hand hold on to because I can put my hand almost like using the handle as a strap. So I think I'm really gonna like this. I only bought five of them because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like them, um, but I think I'm gonna love them. So I only bought five. My daughter wants one, I want one. My other daughter hasn't even seen them yet. So that's probably three of them. So I'll really only have two to sell. So that's probably most likely something I will be ordering again in the future this the 32 ounce slim tumbler this is my tried and true has always been my go-to same thing press on lid slide top it's easy enough for me to hold because it's tapered I can hold it at the bottom but I don't like the ones that have that bubble like it you'll see it in a minute I like the taper like this now I made this one five years ago you can see by looking at it, it is well-loved, well-used. I have dropped this on the cement. I have dropped it. Don't look at the glitter on the bottom. <laughs> I have dropped it. 
I've got, there's chips in it. It is just, this cup has taken a beating. And like I said, it's six years old. This is the older style of this cup though. This had the lid that screws on. I am not in love with the screw on lids because sometimes you just have to line them up right and I don't like it personally. I, this is the exact same cup with the other lid. I can just take this lid, press it on, press it off. So these really do, they take a beating. They're nice cups. The ice, I, I had gone to a Spartan race with some friends. I had put my iced coffee in there and I think we got there at, I don't know, 6.30 in the morning. I think I bought my coffee, it was early. We didn't come back to the truck until lunch and because I didn't know how much, you know, where we were gonna be going and whatnot, I just left my cup in the in the truck. When I got back, it was like, I don't know, probably one o'clock when I got back, my cup was still full of ice. Um, I know there's several different brands that are like that, but these are just great. And this one, like I said, this one's been through hell and back and it's a wonderful cup. So far and away, my number one favorite cup, this one here. There's a 32 ounce and there's a 24 ounce in the same cup. There's really, the only difference really between the two of them is the size. Um, they're just, one is a little bit uh, shorter. They're, they're almost exactly the same, but this one's just a little bit shorter. This is the same cup, 24 ounces. These, when I decorate these, like I did with that other one is epoxy. You can, I can etch them with the, um, you know, the, I can do a, a simple decal and etch them. I don't have an etching machine. That's my next dream purchase, but it's a little, little ways off. So I do have those. Those are my top stainless. Those are my top sellers in stainless. Now this one, because who doesn't love a good wine glass? This is the 15 ounce wine glass. Same thing. All the tops so far that I'm showing you are the same. Uh, this is a 15 ounce wine glass. This is a 25 ounce wine glass. Um, I'm not a big fan of the 25 ounce. It's a little too big for me to hold on to. But if you look at the two of them, you know, this one's really kind of a stretch. I think calling it a wine glass. A lot of people, when they made things with them, um, they call this one the snowman tumbler because a lot of people made them to look like snowmen. So those are those two. This is a super popular size easy to hold, double insulated, gonna keep your drink hot or cold far longer than you need it to. And I've had a couple of people, you know, say, oh, my mom doesn't drink wine or, you know, so-and-so that I'm getting it for doesn't drink wine. I said, you know what, if you like the shape of the cup, it doesn't matter because it's not going to reject other liquids. It's going to just, you know, whatever you put in it. So it's a wine glass simply because that's the shape of it. This is one of the multifunctional cups that she offers. This is called the 32 ounce coffee caddy. This one's powder coated as well. It only comes in white, but with this one, if you buy your Dunkin' Donuts large iced coffee, you put it in here, this essentially is a giant koozie. If you wanna have a medium, you put this in, slip your medium in, giant koozie. But it's a giant koozie that is also a cup. So, you know, if you're going out one of those where you leave early in the day, you stop at Dunk's, you get your coffee. Later on in the day, you know, you're going to fill it up, get something else. You don't have to rinse coffee out of a cup. You can just now fill this with whatever and your other cup stayed nice and cold. Spot there for your straw. Same thing, air vent and or straw holder. So this is this is a really nice, I, I, I like the multifunctionality of it. So those are just the few that I wanted to show you that are not sublimation. The rest of the cups I'm gonna show you are sublimation. This one, this one was a markdown. She doesn't, she doesn't have these anymore. I don't know if they're gonna be revisited. I do have a few of these left. I made this one myself because I'm a huge Garth Brooks fan. Um, I just, you know, pictures I picked up off the internet. I'm not selling it, so I'm not breaking any copyright because it's mine. It's just for me. The only one that exists, it's just mine. Um, this is a fruit infuser. And so you have the lid, the fruit infuser, 
This screws onto this. This screws onto the lid. This screws into here. The fruit and freezer comes off. So you don't have to use it solely as a fruit infuser drink type holder. This little lid flaps right up. It's got a fairly big hole. If you don't have the drink, uh, if you don't have the infuser part on it, you can put a straw in there. That's what I do. I love this. Um, it does come with the strap, but this is just, I just love this cup because it's my Garth cup. 20 ounce skinny. This one here, this is my daily driver. This is, I use it all the time. It, um, again, well loved. I wash everything by hand. They're, you know, you can, you can do all kinds of designs on them, but these are just a really nice, this is great. I can handle it. Fits in and out of my cup holders. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. This comes in many, she has a lot of different options in each kind of cup. Like, so in the 20 ounce, that's this shape and this size, there's a green glow, there's a red glow. This one's a blue glow. They have a pretty strong glow and I can't show it to you because even if I shut the light off that's on my camera, my overhead light's still on. So this is, um, it's a pretty cool cup. I, I like these a lot. I use them constantly. Another style that she has is this. It's called, this is called the glass can. Um, I just wanted to show a few of the ones that I use all the time so you can see they are really durable. This one, the lid's got a bamboo lid. The lid just snaps on here. Um, this one comes in many colors. It comes in, in clear glass, it comes in frosted glass. It's There's the pink gradient, yellow, blue gradient. I think in one of the taller sizes, it comes in a red gradient. So there are lots of different styles of this one. All glass, bamboo lid. It's got the little gasket on it. Then this one. So I said I liked the other. I liked the black one because it had a handle. Well, this is just my regular skinny with a handle. This one, it looks, you can see it's a little shinier than the other one. This one is not a glow cup. So this you would just sublimate. Um, you can put obviously whatever design you want on it. Same type of lid, but this is the handle for the tall skinny. This is definitely going to fit in your cup holder because it's skinny, but the handle's high enough up. So that is a very popular seller. The mugs with the handles right now are very popular. Um, I do, I, I really, I like her cups. They're high quality. Um, I am one of those people, when I was a kid, my mom had asked, I had asked to go to the local trade school. My mom said, no. She said, you're too easily led. And she's right. She's right because every time I see something, I'm like, oh, I have to have that. So here's this. This was a cup I had actually made last night. This has the logo of my, my little side hustle on it. Um, I made this one last night because this video, I don't know, I've tried to shoot it a ton of times. I don't like the way the lighting looks, but it's just because I've been in the sun. But after I did the whole video last night showing how to use the press, made this nice little cup. I'm gonna use it anyway, because I purposely put my logo on it. So when I go to craft fairs, I have it. But this one is that same 20 ounce, but this is considered a clear. So when you put the design on it, you know, I purposely have a design that is, is not necessarily very bright because the colors that my logo are, like I, you can see it, it's very clear to see on the cup, but it, it's not clubbing you over the head. So if I'm somewhere and I'm drinking out of that and I'm not necessarily at a craft show or whatever, um, it does what it needs to do. It advertises without being like right there in your face. This is the, is this a 12 ounce wine cup? So this is what I'm gonna show you tonight. I'm going to um, be pressing these tonight. That was, that's what I'm gonna use to show about the tumbler, the, the, the press. Why can't I speak? The tumbler press, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do press two wine cups. So I just wanted to show you that real quick right now. I'll show you in, in a little bit um, 
when the press is going. These sublimatable shot glasses. I have some really cute ideas for these. There's, um, it's been floating around for years, an Uno game, and you just change the cards so that it's like when one, whatever number comes up, it's take a shot, take two shots. So I'm going to put the logo of, like I'll make a logo for the game that's not Uno. You're going to have an Uno, actual Uno card game in the box, but I'll make up something for that. This one here, also a little different, not something that um, I'm going to use every single day because now I have a job that doesn't drive me to drink. <laughs> So anyway, here's a, a cute little flask. This can be sublimated. I could I could do both sides on it. The difference between this and like the little shot glass here is those aren't gonna go in the tumbler press. Those are gonna have to go in an oven. And when you do sublimation with an oven, you have to have a dedicated oven for the sublimation because if you, you cannot use your own oven, if you use your own oven, uh, you can no longer use it for food because once the, what sublimation is, is it takes these little designs that I've, I've already printed this out. Um, it takes the designs and it, it turns this ink into a gas and it infuses it into a polyester coating on the cups. So once that gas has been in your oven, you're not going to put food in it again because it's just not a good idea for you to eat. <laughs> so this is the six ounce candle jar. I think she has another size, I'm not sure. These are super cute. I actually just got wicks so I can make these. I'm gonna make them with the, the soy so that, you know, as the, as the soy wax melts, you can use it as a hand cream. It's really a nice, um, nice lotion. So this has the bamboo lid. This looks just like a tiny tumbler, but it doesn't have the straw hole. So these are, these are fun. There is a bigger one. Um, you could also use them. You don't necessarily have to use them if you're bored of buying them. You don't have to use them to make candles, but I'm gonna put candles in them. I'm gonna turn my press on right now. I'm gonna just swing you around real quick to see the press. That's the press right there. I'm just gonna turn it on. It's already plugged in. Um, it will heat up to 370. So you can see on here the temperature. If you need to adjust the timer, the temperature, that's what these little buttons on the front are for. I always put my cup in. I've already, I've already put my cup in here and, and checked for my tension. So this, there is a knob right here and you turn it either way. I would suggest doing that when it's cold. It's, it, you don't have to do it when it's cold, but I suggest doing it when it's cold. So you want, when you put your cup in, you wanna be able to put it in and have it close with just enough pressure that you're closing it, but you're not forcing it. You don't want to have to force it. So well, that's heating up. We're going to come back here. Sorry, I probably should have done it with my other hand. I'm going to go over a few other things. And I have to get that one more cup taped up. So this is the 15 ounce duo. This is a great cup for kids. I don't know which side I put my trash bag on tonight. Great cup for kids. It has the flip up lid. I have a foster baby, she's two. She's been using this style cup for probably, I'm gonna guess since she was just over a year old, probably 14 months old, because she can carry it, it's not too heavy, it's a good size, she can get the lid open, it doesn't leak. I don't have to worry about her pulling the lid off. If you're one of those moms that, you know, likes this size, it also comes with a regular lid that would do you know, the same thing. This just, this will screw on. This, this one here is not a press on like the others. This one screws on because this also has threads. So this is called a duo because it comes with both of them. But this, it has the straw that goes in it. So when you put it in, you know, this is a great, I, these are my biggest seller for, for kids. Um, that's a really nice, easy, easy to handle style for kids. Um, and it's kind of nice because they, it's going to last. It's going to, it's going to hang around long enough that it's going to last and you're not going to have to worry about um, 
you know, replacing. It's, it, they can be pretty brutal with it. Okay, I'd said before that there were some of the other ones that had come in the colors. This is a 20 ounce, but it's, you know, obviously bigger than the glass can. It's got the different kind of lid. It's tall and thin, whereas the glass cans are a little bit thicker and a little bit shorter, and they're only 16 ounces. This is 20. These are so pretty. Uh, these also come with the bamboo lid as well, so you get the duo lids on this one too. Several of her cups do come with two lids. So uh, the beauty of it is, you know, if someone, these, I believe these, I'm doing a horse show in July. I'll be at a horse show at the Eastern States Exposition. And I believe these come in blue, yellow, red. Um, the other ones are, are blue, yellow, and pink. But I think in this size, they come in red. So I am really looking forward to playing with these with some horse ones. So, you know, if the kid wins champion, I can put their picture on it and I've got the three colors, you know, maybe, however, I'm going to play with them because there's different colors for um, the, the blue, yellow, and red are champion colors. So I want to play with those. This one here, this is another 20 ounce, same as my daily driver, but this one glows red. You, you can't tell any difference. This is my, this one glows blue, this one glows red. I think the only reason they look like there's a difference in them is because this one's probably four months older and has been used. Um, so they're, they're all that bright white when they start out, but you start, you know, sticking them in lunch bags and whatnot and the pretty wears off just like with anything. Okay, so my tumbler press now, it's telling me it's heated up. So I'm going to move you over here. I'm going to tip this down. Now, like I said, I've already adjusted this. I've taped up the cup. I purposely did, because this is a tapered cup, these both have the same background. I purposely did a very vague background because this has a rounded edge. And although I'm going to try to do the edge, it's probably going to stop at the straight part. Um, but it's going to be okay that it doesn't look perfect because that's why I did a jagged edge. So this is all taped up. The biggest thing with sublimation, you need to make sure everything's taped tightly. I'm going to put this in. I run it for 70 seconds three times. So while that one's going in, I am going to tape up my next one. I do them 70 seconds three times. So I will put it in. I will turn it. I will do it again, I will turn it, and I will run it one last time. I like to make sure the top is lined up because the top is, excuse me, the top is straight, and so you want your, you want your design to be all around your top properly. I have my heat glove here and ready to go because obviously you don't want to touch that with your hands. So I get the piece of tape on one end. You want your seams to be lined right up. Mine is cut, so it's all ready to go. You want to pull this really tight. And then we'll put one at the top. Pull that really tight. And I'm going to put one down the bottom here. Pull that really tight. Sometimes it doesn't stick. Okay, so my first 70 seconds is done. I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna put my heat glove on, because again, you also have to be very careful. All of this is hot. So I have the seam at the top that just gives me a reference. I'm gonna turn that probably, you know, a quarter of the way and close this back up. Pull my glove off, I'm gonna finish taping here. So now I'm just going to run Run a piece right down the seam. The seam is all lined up. You can see that it's all lined up there. And then again, because this bottom is just a little chaotic, I'm gonna take a piece and I just wanna get it tight around that bottom part, but it doesn't necessarily have to lay perfectly flat because once it tapers off, that part's not really that important to me anymore. I need it to be tight where it counts. 
So this one is all nice and tight. So that one's ready. So while that's cooking, I got another 16 seconds there. I'm gonna show you another cup. This is the glitter tumbler, 20 ounce, same size as the rest, but it is a glitter. Let me just hold that for a second. I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna put my heat glove back on. I'm gonna turn it a little more, and I'm gonna put this back in. Close that up, there we go. So this is glitter. It's got a very nice glitter base to it. When you use this, and you, you know, you put a, whatever you decide to put on it, the glitter is going to show through in anything that is like white or clear on your, on your design. So you'll see a lot of people will do like the sugar skull type thing. And, um, with that, they, that way there are things, you know, you can see them through. This is the 30 ounce. This, let's see if I tip this up a little. So the 30 ounce, here's the 20 ounce. They're a little skinnier. The 20 ounce a little skinnier. Not a whole lot shorter, just a little skinnier. Um, this one happens to glow green. There are several different styles. The 20 ounce, the 30 ounce, and that glass can are pretty much the standards. Okay. Let's put this back down here real quick. Now, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna pull this out. I'm not even gonna bother with trying to do the end. So I'm gonna set that one there. I'm gonna put this one in now. Same thing, it's already set. My time and temperature and all that is already set. That's in, that's gonna cook for a minute. That was that. So. This kind is called the clear because obviously it's not white. The It just has the coating on it. So that clear also comes in a 30 ounce. So you have a 20 ounce or a 30 ounce in the clear and just different styles. All the lids are the same. All the, you know, the inner workings, the integrity is all the same. There's just some different styles, different colors, whatnot. After we're done with those, you probably don't need to watch that cook anymore because you saw the last one. So these three, these are probably my favorite. And surprisingly enough, I don't have one of my own yet, mostly because I just haven't decided on it. But these three, I'm gonna show you in a minute. I'm just gonna take them out of here five seconds before I got to rotate that. And you want to also remember when you're taking your cups out of your tumbler press, do not set them on your dining room table. Put them on a heat mat. The only reason I set it on this table behind here is because it's a wood um, TV tray table. Does not matter to me one bit if it gets yucky. It doesn't matter it, it, that that TV table has seen better days. It's got epoxy on it. It's got all kinds of war wounds, so to speak. Okay, these three cups, these three, just put this one over here. Okay, turn this down a little bit. These three, are the exact same size. Doesn't look like it, but they are. The difference is this one is just a foreign one. This is a foreign one with a bottle opener and this is a foreign one with a Bluetooth speaker. Now, a foreign one koozie, the more of these videos I make, the better I'll get it moving this camera around. So the foreign one koozies are Pardon me while I change this for the last one. One more turn. Okay, the four-in-one koozies, they hold a can, a regular 12 ounce soda, beer can, whatever. They hold a skinny can, like a White Claw, a Red Bull, the, the skinny tall cans. 
and they hold a regular glass bottle when you have this on. So you would put your can in or your bottle or whatever, you put this on, you screw this on. This is now your koozie. You decide you wanna have a mixed drink instead, or you just, you know, you, you brought a, like a lot of times I'll have a, I'll have an energy drink in the morning. And then when I get to work, you know, I'll just fill my cup with water or whatever. So now you put this lid on it, it's a drink cup. It's a regular drink cup. It has the screw on lid, has the hole for the straw. They all come with a straw. So this is just the straight up plain old foreign one. This is the four in one sublimation, but it has a bottle opener in the bottom. Exact same thing as this one. Hold please. Uh, shut that off because that one's all done. And again, always be very careful around all these metal parts. I'm going to set that there while they cool off while I'm finished showing you these. So this four in one has the bottle opener in the bottom. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit, it looks a little fatter and it looks a little bit taller. It's not, it's just because this has the bottle opener in it. It's the same size. This is tapered, this one's not. So these are really, I like these a lot. Now this little baby has a Bluetooth speaker. It comes off so you can wash it. Exact same thing as the rest. Take this ring off, put your can or your bottle in, whatever your charging cable's in there for it. This has a really nice sound to it. When I'm at craft fairs, I will hook my phone up and I will play one of these. I just keep a blank one with me and I will, um, I'll have one playing while I'm at the craft fair because it it gives off a nice sound and it, it does, um, it makes, it brings people to the booth. It makes people think, it makes people look like, where's that coming from? So I really do like that a lot. So those are, there's three different varieties of those. Um, again, those can be embellished, decorated in several different ways. Anything that I design for someone, I generally try to personalize it just to them. Whatever they need, whatever they like, um, I try to do it, you know, I, I'm not a big fan of taking, like someone will give you a picture off the internet and they'll be like, I want this. If you want that, go to them, buy it from them. When I do that, you show it to me. That's a general idea. It's gonna be very, very similar. It's not gonna be the exact same thing, but I will make that for you, but I'm not gonna use, it's It's not gonna be exactly the same. So I do, I do design things. Um, I did make my own logos, uh, my logo for my YouTube channel and my logo for my Two Crafty Cricketeers, very similar. I love this cup. I love all my cups. I, if I didn't, I wouldn't be talking so much about them. Okay, so let me see what these are. This one is, okay, the first one I did is cool enough to show you. So now when I pull this off, when I did this video the other night and I didn't have my right tool with me, You'd think that when I did it today, I would have made sure I had the right tool with me, but I did not because sometimes that's how I am. It's a good thought, but it doesn't always happen. So love having my nails done, but they do make it a little difficult sometimes to do to get these edges of the tape off. So I'm just going to use my little, this little, this isn't the tool I normally use to get these off, but it's the one I have tonight. Normally I don't rip them, I don't molest the cups, but uh, that's sort of what's happening tonight simply because I didn't get the right tool to bring with me. So I'm just gonna pull this off. And this one says, oh honey, I am that mom. Let's see if I can get it a little closer. And this is a design I got from Design Bundles. But see, it's okay, the, like the bottom is rough, but I purposely, I'm okay with that because the top, it's it's like just a, a colored, so it's okay. It, it I, I'm okay with the way that came out because I purposely picked something that has a rough edge. The next one, 
it's not that warm anymore. The next one, same thing. I'm going to just get this off. This one, I'm making these two as a set uh, to donate for a raffle basket. So I'll probably get, you know, one of those four packs of the little wine bottles because it'll look cuter. Um, they're just two wine glasses. But again, this one wants to fight me and doesn't want to come off. If I had the right tool, it would it would have come right, right off, but I'm going to just do it this way. Normally, I'm much more dignified when I take these apart, but, you know, everybody has their nights. And this seems to be mine. All right, here we go. This one says Meltdown Manager. And I thought these two would look nice together in a, in a basket. So like I said, I'm going to put these two in a basket, some wine, maybe a mixer. I don't know, something. But that will be for a raffle. Um, one of my friends has a benefit coming up that they do a fundraiser for building. I think, I think the letter said they were building a healthcare facility in Africa. Um, I, I'm not going to lie. I didn't really read the letter as detailed as I should, but it doesn't matter. It's for a good cause. I know these people and they wouldn't, they, they, this is no made up charity. So perfectly okay with it. So again, these are the two cups. That is the hog tumbler press. And I have a hair in my mouth. Um, that's the hog tumbler press. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments and, um, I guess that's it for tonight. So I will be back this weekend. I am installing railings on my stairs tomorrow. I am not what you would call a DIYer. I am a YouTube guru. I go to YouTube. I find what I need to do. I put my phone. I hit play. I hit pause. I do what he said to, and I do it again. So um, look forward. There'll be some uh, possibly entertaining videos. So have a great night, guys. And again, if you have any questions about the press or the cups or whatever, I will um, do my best to answer them in the comments. Thanks. Have a great day.